So due to the fact that I used to live in Greece and there was a fig tree in my very own backyard, I do have an affinity for the note of fig. Unfortunately, when it comes to fig though, there's no way to truly distill the essence from a fig fruit. Therefore, all fig that's used in fragrances is synthetic. But today I'm gonna to be talking about my top 10 favorite fig-based perfumes or colognes, so make sure to stay tuned. the video I do want to disclose that this is my list and this is a personal list uh, this list is not to say what the best fig perfumes in the entire world are these are just scents that I have in my collection that really resonate with my taste uh, in addition to that these are scents that I personally own and there are a lot of other fragrances that had I owned them I definitely would have included them in this list but for the simple fact that I never purchased them uh, they're not going to be included in this list as a result of that so please keep that in mind uh, this list is not specific to to a niche or designer. As a matter of fact, there's kind of a hodgepodge of things in here. I even have a scent in here that I bought from Old Navy. Uh, just because um, I feel as though niche fragrances do fig a little bit better, therefore most of the fragrances that you're gonna see in this list, almost all of the fragrances that you're gonna see in this list are of niche origin. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get it started. We do have some honorable mentions, but I'll get into them a little bit later on in the video. So coming in at number 10 is by the company, I gotta remind myself, it's called Small Sense Make Sense. Uh, I guess the company is called Kindred Goods, and this one is called Sea Salt and Fig. Now I do think I do think that there is a lot of the former going on in this fragrance in the sense that it does come across as a little bit salty. It comes across as a little aquatic, a little oceanic. So the spotlight isn't entirely on the note of fig and this one really doesn't last at all. I mean, I probably get an hour and a half on a good day. And so for that reason, I had it very high up in this list. Um, there's perhaps one designer fragrance that I kind of played around with putting at the number 10 spot and that is Marc Jacobs for Men. So Marc Jacobs for Men actually has a fig leaf note if I'm not mistaken it's a very sort of creamy scent and it also smells a bit of coconut so I really wanted to include that fragrance but because it veered a little bit more in the coconut direction I decided to include this one instead the next one on my list is one that I purchased recently and this one by the company Tiziana Terenzi is called Arethusa. Now this fragrance I believe is marketed for women and it has a lot of fruity notes, a lot of berry notes as well, but among those fruity notes is the note of fig. And when I really dig my nose into it, I can tell that they're, they were attempting to create a fig accord in there. And I like the fact that it's, it's in there and it's kind of lost in the shuffle among the other fruity notes, but I also kind of enjoy the fact that it's not um, a directly you know, fig-based scent. It's more of a combination of different things. So this is one that I don't necessarily wear because of the note of fig, but I wear it because I enjoy the overall smell. Again, when one you know, bit of fair warning, this one does lean a little bit feminine. So definitely make sure to go out there and sample it before you commit to buying a bottle like I did. The next fragrance is one that I purchased many, many, many years ago. Uh, this was yet another blind buy. I basically just saw the note breakdown online. A lot of the notes really resonated with me and I thought it would produce an overall really appealing smell. And so I went ahead and I purchased it blind, like I said, and this one by the company CJ Sens is called Sandalwood Fig. Uh, this is by far the sweetest version of all of these fig-based interpretations. And so um, this one, I wouldn't recommend if you're in in the market for a unique um, standalone fig scent. If you want more of a combination of different ingredients though, uh, including sandalwood, which is an amazing ingredient, I would definitely recommend that you go out there and you try this one. So CJ Scent Sandalwood Fig. Number seven on my list is one that I actually have two bottles of. No, I actually have three bottles of this one because my large bottle my large purchase also came with a travel size bottle. So now I, now I have three bottles of it, but it really is one of my favorite scents ever. And again, just like Arethusa by Tiziana Terenzi, this is one that I wear uh, just because of the overall smell, not necessarily because of the note of fig. Uh, there's fig in there, but there are also a lot of other elements included in there as well. And this one is called Musk Imperial by Atelier Cologne. And so this one does have musk. It has some fruity notes in here. It has some woodsy notes in there as well. It's really a blend of different things, but the fig note that's used in there is very, very nice. And I, like I said earlier, I just enjoyed the overall smell of that one. The next one in this list is actually the only designer fragrance in this list. Uh, again, Marc Jacobs for Men was uh, one that I was really thinking about including in this list, but this by far is the 
from what I have smelled, is the best designer fig scent on the market and probably even one of the best that this brand has put out. And this one is called Z Zegna Milan by Hermenegildo Zegna. So this is one that I have been thoroughly enjoying it. Uh, my friend Chad actually gifted this one to me. So Chad, thank you very much for the generosity. I really appreciate that, my friend. The next one on this list is one that was sent to me by the brand. So Thank you very much for sending it to me. I don't think I've had the opportunity to review this one just yet, uh, but as far as it being a fig-based scent, I do think it's a really good one. And this one is called 10 AM Flirt by Karen NYC. This one actually reminds me a lot of another uh, fig-based scent that is kind of on the subtle side and a little woodsy as well. And I'm just gonna go ahead and announce what the next one is. Uh, this is one that I acquired some time back. And this one by Wilhelm Parfumery is called Purple Fig. So this scent and this scent to my nose smell pretty much identical. The only thing is that on some days I get more longevity from this one, but I feel like this one opens up a bit brighter, so this one might project a little bit better. So it's really hard to tell, it's really hard to make an assessment like that, but overall this is a really nice interpretation of Fig, uh, and it's not one of the juicier varieties. It's definitely one of the more dry varieties. So if, you're, if you don't want a Fig scent that's overly juicy, overly fruity and jammy, then perhaps you might want to look into these two. So now we're getting into the top three, and I like this next one because it's definitely the freshest fig. And this is one from an Italian brand. The perfumer is Enzo Gallardi. I personally like a little bit better. It's a little fresher. It's definitely uplifting. This one by Antiqua Firenze is called Fico Fiorentino, right? It means Florentine fig. And of course, this is also a bit juicy. Uh, definitely not as juicy as the number one in this list or even the number two, uh, but this one definitely has the freshest interpretation. So here we have a dry fig. Here you have a fresh fig. This one is an all-around fig. This one is musky. Here we have sandalwood. This is a combination of different berries and this one is salty. So there's a lot of variety here in terms of the type of fig that you're going to get from those scents. And then getting into the number two spot, uh, this is one that I have been enjoying a lot. Uh, I actually acquired it maybe two months ago or something like that and I have been wearing it a lot just because this is the perfect time of the year to wear this one and is definitely evocative of the hotter weather. This is by far one of the juiciest figs. Uh, to me this smells like a combination of fig fruit and fig leaf and this one by Source Adage NYC is called Ikana. So I actually have a couple different fragrances by this brand and uh, this is probably my favorite and they're all super super unique so this brand puts out very unique fragrances at a pretty affordable price point as well and it lasts a long time too so that's definitely one of the pluses of this one is that the longevity is stellar now before i get into my number one spot i do have a few honorable mentions as i stated earlier on in this video there are certain fragrances that you know if i owned them 100% they would have been in this uh, list, uh, but I don't have Figuier Eden by um, Armani Privé, and I also don't have uh, L'Artisan Parfumeur's uh, fig-based offering. And so those two, I think, are incredibly well done, and I had the opportunity to smell them, and I can guarantee you they would have been in this list. I don't know if they would have been in the top five, but they definitely would have been in this list had I owned them. So those are my two honorable mentions. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get on to my number one favorite fig-based scent. Um, I know for a lot of people, when you think of fig-based fragrances, uh, there's one fragrance that really comes to mind. And this one was probably the most iconic, the most successful fig-based scent on the market. So much so that fig is actually in the name of the fragrance. However, it is in Greek. And so the name of this fragrance, it's by Diptyque, and it's called Philosikos. This is the most natural smelling fig scent. It's juicy, it's ripe, it's natural, it's green, it's grassy, it's earthy, it's so appealing. This is such a unique scent. And believe it or not, it also happened to be the very first fig based scent that I put my nose on, including all of these. So this was the first one that I ever sampled. And I, you know, I really thought to myself and I deliberated and I said, am I really making this number one because it's the first one that I ever owned. Am I really making this number one because the name is Philosikos, which means fig lover, uh, which is Greek, and I happen to be Greek? Am I biased in that regard? But I actually did a blind smell test, and I smelled them all, and this is the one that I kept gravitating towards because it is the most natural smelling 
fig scent on the market. Again, it's fresh, it's fruity, it's juicy, it's ripe, it's earthy, it's grassy, it's green, it's alive, it's amazing. So Filosicos from the House of Diptyque, hands down the best fig scent that I've ever smelled and probably the best fig scent that is on the market if you're in the market for a fig base scent. So, so there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. These have been my top 10 favorite fig base scents. If you own or have tried any of these fragrances, I would love to know what you think. Leave a comment down below. Also, if you are new to this channel and you took something of value from this video, I would really appreciate if you could support the channel and what I do and what I've been doing for seven plus years now. It's easy and it's free. All you need to do is click that red subscribe button in the corner. So this way, whenever I do upload future fragrance related content, it will get delivered straight to your feed. You never need to worry about missing any of my future uploads. And of course, that includes top 10 videos just like this, giveaways, unboxings, special guests, reviews, interviews, and a whole lot of other fragrance related content. Thanks again for watching. I love you guys, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye.